I guess this is the Thai class escort destroyer by Metrofania. Let's do a quick fly around here. Huh. There's a lot of rear thrusters. Alright. Uh I saw that earlier. We're gonna talk about that later. So the ship is 21,459 PCO, which is you know a little bit above 20,000 PCO. But well, it should be easy to cut some things and make the ship under 20,000 PCO if you need to. Alright, let's see here. We've got some hmm three artillery wait really three artillery turrets with four assault cannon turrets we also got some interior turrets here and some gatling turrets on the back of the ship there is there any fixed weapons on the ship oh wait a second is this how the ship is supposed to be oriented <laughs> all right that doesn't seem to be any fixed weapons we do have some kind of fake weapons here using the exhaust pipes and this uh, conveyor pipe cap here I do like this decorative round thingy Ooh, look at that window configuration that looks like a really nicely designed airlock cannot wait to check the interior hmm this is kind of unique here how they cover these uh, thruster openings with panels so that kind of gives the thrusters more protection from certain angles at least against things like you know getting guns and stuff and then back here you got light and a connector in a questionable position and all right so this bit here the diagonal bit here they use uh rotors looks pretty cool but you know that subgrid so that will contribute to instability of the ship look at all these decorative pipe caps here I do like how they do it, especially the one that use cylindrical blocks here. I mean cylindrical column, because the cylindrical column only use one PCO. So these are not that expensive to make. These ones that use conveyor pipes are more expensive though. And to the back here, I really like how they did this bit here of the nacelle. Well, it's not like a nacelle. Hmm, actually, it is kind of like a nacelle combined with thruster skirts pretty interesting design overall and it does give the ship the advantage of having no cells which is you know separating explosion from the rest of the ship while also allowing the ship to have like large backward thrusters out and to the back here like we saw earlier we got plenty of forward thrusters with some interior turrets i'm not sure how to feel about this exposed jump drives i mean I guess the ship is supposed to, you know, always point towards the enemy. So maybe you're not supposed to be too worried about this exposed jump drive back here. Not to mention the protection against jetpackers as well using these interior turrets. But still, ideally, you should at least protect your jump drive. Especially considering this is like a warship. Not to mention, if you see here, this is obviously a ship that's main thrusters. I mean, the main thrust is meant to move forward and not, you know, move laterally, horizontally. So this is not really an ideal configuration if you want a warship that is always able to point at the enemy while fighting the enemy. And to the bottom here, more uh, thrusters with some coverings there. I do like the texturing work down here. We got another connector. Wait, is that the connector from before? No, that's a different one. We got another connector down there, which is also, you know, somewhat embedded, so not ideal. I do like these round design elements here. I think they look pretty nice and they also give, you know, a certain level of protection. Alright, I guess that's the whole exterior. Let's check the interior now. Oh, look at how they did this whole window setup here. Oh, we also got a camera down here. Alright, uh, what the hell? Oh, there's another camera close to the door here. Very nice. All right, a oh, simple. What the hell? A triple door airlock. Huh. Pretty. Hum. How did they? What? Uh, hold on. Assault cannons facing the wall. Wait a second. Is this not a door to the interior? 
<laughs> so this is like a weapon, a custom weapon housing. Is this why the ship is so expensive on PC? So I'm guessing you're supposed to just shoot this weapon. No, no, this, that doesn't make sense because these are heavy armor. Maybe the weapon will rotate like a gatling gun. Alright, yeah, I'm sure that's how that's how this weapon is meant to be used. This thing will rotate, and you know, whenever uh, an array of these weapons of this assault cannon is reloading, then another array will take its place, so that will lessen the downtime from reloading, which is you know kind of cool in theory. But I feel like there's a better and more efficient way to achieve that kind of capability. There we go. That's the rest of the Gatling cannons down there. And I guess here's the water. There we go. Still, pretty cool though. Alright, uh, where's the interior? Where's the entrance? What the hell? What's that thing down there? Uh, oh, this connection thingy looks kind of flimsy, by the way. I feel like they should just, you know, armor the whole thing so the ship doesn't get too easily cut in half from this point. Where's the door? Oh, there we go. There's the door. Huh. Cycle airlock. Uh, can we just enter without using the... Uh, this is one of those doors. Uh, this kind of airlock that requires you to, you know, use that kind of button has like a very severe downside. Alright. Uh, that's, that airlock also has like an air fan, by the way. Alright. Oh, check this interior though. Pretty nicely laid out there. We've got a uh, verticality in the interior. Pretty nicely done as well. Especially with the atmospheric lighting. Pretty cool interior. Is that the airlock door? Huh. Oh, there's another floor down there. Pretty cool. We got cargo container access here. Hmm. <coughs> uh, cryo chamber. More cryo chamber. Uh, let's check the floor down here first. Kind of dark in here. Uh, another set of cryo chambers. Wait, what? Oh wait, we're still at the same floor. Uh, there you go. Uh, another set of cryo chambers. Well, more cryo chamber. This is the medical room with uh, the armory there. Pretty cool compact layout. I wasn't expecting the ship to have such intricate interior layout. This is pretty cool. Like, you know, if you're down here, you can look all the way up there to the third floor. That's pretty cool. Uh, do we have like another floor down here? Uh, I saw this earlier when I was trying to go up. Mm. Huh. Oh wow, what the hell? This interior. It's a lot larger than I thought. We got some more air fan there. Uh, what's in here? Oh, nice use of the inset couch there. Aquarium. Wait, no, that's not the aquarium. That's part of the inset couch. That's pretty cool. How they did this whole room here. Huh, we got a music player. And. Well, vending machine. I'm guessing this is just some kind of a chill, you know, a lounge area kind of thing there. What's to the right here? Mm. More air fan. Some kind of an arrow. Uh. Uh, not again. Oh, there's the button. Brick. Timer, brick light, brick air fan. I guess that's the brick of the ship then. So having a brick on your ship on Space Engineers is, you know, a pretty cool concept, but practically speaking, it's not really that useful because people can just, you know, respawn. So nice design though of the bridge here. We got the toilet, I mean bedroom, which is always better than a toilet because it has more privacy. Some beds here and an air fan. Alright, uh, let's go to the other holder shaft here. What's up here? Uh, 
some kind of a uh, kitchen. We do have a kitchen here with more music player. There's so many music players on the ship. I'm guessing this is some kind of a uh, kitchen slash a uh, crew quarters. We got more bedroom there. We can see upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Uh, one floor. Armory. More music player. What the hell? There's so many music players. Bedroom. I mean toilet shower combo. Uh, so is this whole section of the ship just a bunch of, you know, crew quarters? Oh. It's very cavernous in here. What the <laughs> hold on. Uh what's in here? Uh I'm guessing that connects to the other leather chef there. Oh, we're on the third floor now. That we saw from the uh from the entrance there. Is this the CIC of the ship here? We got an interior turret. That's the thing that we saw earlier from the outside. That's pretty cool. Using a rotor. <laughs> armory. Inside button panels. More armory. Button panel. Inside button panel. More armories. There's so many armories on this ship as well. <sighs> Look at the control seat here. So the front control seat used this window which is you know. Not that practical, but you know, I guess this works. We do have this upper floor access to... Oh, <laughs> there's more floor up here. Huh. Oh, that use small grid uh, scripted radar. That's the programmable block there. Here's the upper part of the combat. Uh, information center. Uh, I guess those sliders just go down there. This is the internal cockpit or control seat of the ship which is always useful, especially for battles. Uh, we got more control seats up here which is always nice to see this backup control seats here for, you know, emergencies. Uh, let's check the last bits of the interior. I'm just gonna fly down here. This is kind of cool actually. Like because the interior is kind of open on this part here. If you need to quickly go to a certain floor, you can just fly from there instead of going through all the cavernous chambers. Uh, so we enter from here, right? And if we go up here, well, I guess this just goes directly to the upper crew quarters here and the CIC of the ship. Wait, I got lost. What the hell? Uh, so I enter from here and then I turned right over there. So I ended up in the CIC from there instead of from here. Alright, well, I guess this the whole interior that's crazy i do like how unique the whole interior style of this ship is i've never seen a ship played out like this on space engineers i mean the interior all right let's check the internals now that's cool by the way how we can look directly at the weather from in here all right so the ship has three large hydrogen tanks and the ship weights 2.5 kilotons which is you know there's not a lot of fuel for a ship that heavy. We got plenty of batteries, which is great. Three small warfare reactors, one jump drive, two hydrogen engines, a reasonable amount of gyroscopes, two basic refineries, and a full-size assembler. So, you know, the ship does have some, I mean, a level of production capability, which is better than not having them at all. Ideally, a ship this size should have like a full-size production though. The ship has 5 H2 generators and with 3 large hydrogen tanks, it's gonna take a while for the ship to refuel itself. Not that much cargo capacity. That's the medical room that we saw earlier, no survival kit. And well, a lot of lights 
open doors as well so you know if you really want to use the ship on a server under 20,000 PCO it should be fairly easy to modify the ship and remove some of the lights and doors to make the ship under 20,000 PCO alright I guess that's the whole internals let's fly the ship now oh fourth acceleration is decent I was expecting more backward acceleration is acceptable strafing acceleration is acceptable as well upward acceleration is decent and downward acceleration is decent as well the turning speed of the ship is kind of slow but this is this is fine this is actually optimal you don't want your ship to be turning too fast anyway all right so the ship weighs 2.5 kilotons and the ship has um, 12 small upward hydrogen thrusters with three large hydrogen thrusters that should be enough for the ship to fly on the planets all right here goes there you go we can fly on the planet just fine say so, i mean hmm the design of the ship is really cool you guys can see how cool the ship looks from here like it has a pretty unique design not to mention the interior which is you know designed pretty well as well the amount of weapons for the PCU is well not ideal at all especially for pvp but you know i guess if you use this on single player or on servers where PCU doesn't matter that much it won't really matter the survival capability of the ship i mean the capabilities is well acceptable at least we do have production on the ship even if the ship doesn't have a full-size refinery the fuel situation is probably one of the most you know disappointing part of the ship because well the limited fuel situation will limit uh, how much you can do with the ship operationally speaking in terms of uh, other survival stuff like survival convenience uh, does the ship has tour blocks? no star blocks no contract block as well i guess the ship also doesn't seem to have any landing gear or magnetic plates down there so you cannot tow things with this ship or land it on a planet conveniently so you know the ship is missing a little bit of the you know more detailed survival operations nuance but you know you can probably add those things yourself if you want to without them being too expensive and the ship is still a pretty decent ship especially if you don't use it in the context of you know competitive multiplayer survival all right let's crash the ship now uh i'm gonna try to crash it on that hill there it's a kind of cool looking hill actually oh wait i almost forgot about the weapons to the front there let's try it now uh how do i fire those weapons oh there we go huh. so you know that's pretty cool but still there's probably better ways to uh, achieve the same level of lethality without using that complex mechanism all right uh, all right here it goes oh uh, uh i wanna see wait hold on hold on actually i wanna see how we crash from the front of the ship here oh no there's a main cockpit thing hold on that's one of the problems with using a main cockpit by the way makes it hard to switch cockpits especially in emergencies all right uh, let's go to the front here <laughs> look at this view from in here all right here it goes Ooh, oh. Ooh. Oof. the tree kind of dampen our fall there oh wow huh that's not too bad actually i guess thanks to the tree there uh well the cannon the gatling cannons got destroyed the front cockpit got damaged as well but it's not destroyed i'm guessing the main bridge or the main cic is doing fine in there there we go huh 
What about the rest of the ship to the back there? Hmm. That's not too bad actually. Very nice. So, that's the Thai class escort destroyer by Metrofania. You guys can find the link in the description below.